Welcome to video number 6 in the series Model Steam Engines for Beginners. This is how to perform a hydraulic test on a model steam boiler. Before firing a model steam boiler, it's essential to perform this test. What I usually do is pump up the boiler to twice the working pressure with water. Then if the boiler fails, there is no explosion. You may get a little wet if the boiler does split, but that's nothing really. Here's how to do it. First of all, fit blanking plugs to all the bushes where the fittings would normally be. Leave the top one open. Fill the boiler right to the top. It's very important that the boiler is full to the top with no air inside. You will need one of these. This is my boiler test pump that I built. It's a very simple device. It's a hand pump which feeds water into the boiler with a tapping to a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge needs to be accurate and capable of reading to the pressure that you require. So fill the reservoir with water and start pumping. With the boiler at a slight angle, pump some water into the boiler until it comes out of the hole that you've left without the blanking plug. Then fit the final blanking plug. So now the boiler should be virtually devoid of any air. A little bit of air is not too much of a problem, it's not going to do a great deal of damage. With the final blanking plug present, now it's time to pump up the boiler. Don't go mad with this, start slowly. Here you see the pressure starting to climb. I'm currently just pumping with the pump handle as you see it in the video, but later on you'll have to fit an extension handle, because as the pressure rises, you'll have to put an increase in pressure on the pump. Here we have 50 psi. Don't get carried away with the pumping though. If you pump the boiler up too high, something's going to go wrong. Either the centre flue will collapse, or the seams will split. We're looking for twice the working steam pressure. This boiler I'm only going to be using at 40 psi for an oscillating cylinder engine, so it only really needs a hydraulic test at 80 psi, which is twice the working steam pressure. But for the purposes of the video, I'm testing it to 160 psi. At the moment it's sat at 150 psi, and at this stage it's a good idea to go and have a cup of tea. You need to let some time elapse, leave the pressure in the boiler for a while, and then pump it up to the final pressure. When the pressure finally gets to 160 psi, leave it there for about 15 minutes. If at any time during this hydraulic test process you get any boiler leaks, you need to stop the test and investigate the cause of the failure. Also, if you're pumping the pump handle and the pressure stops rising, you may have a problem. It could be that the centre flue is collapsing. A sudden loud click, followed by water everywhere, usually means a catastrophic failure. And if the boiler had been in steam when the loud click occurred, it would be more of a loud bang. But because we're using water to pressurise the boiler, you'll just get a sudden release of water which is quite harmless. This is why it is so essential to perform these hydraulic tests on boilers if you do not know the history of the boiler, or if a boiler that you've been using has been allowed to boil dry and overheat, as well as testing a boiler at periods set by the boiler regulations. Once you're happy that there are no leaks, release the pressure. Slightly undo one of the blanking plugs, and you'll see that initially a very fine, very powerful jet of water comes out of the boiler. As the pressure drops, you can loosen the blanking plug and finally remove it. What I usually do after a boiler test is give the boiler a quick visual inspection. Have a look down the centre flue. You'll need a torch for this. Make sure there are no bulges showing anywhere. This is quite an old boiler, but it passed the test with flying colours so it can be put into service. I think I'll use it to power this engine, which is a good quality V-twin oscillating cylinder engine. It will make a very easy to handle steam plant for a model steam launch, complete with a main steam boiler feed pump and a main steam condenser oil trap. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. 